Anne Marie, do you want to kick off? Yes, I'm Josh, sorry. Oh, yeah. um, just chatting to John there about the mental break that you had in Portugal. Um, was it both physically and amongst the change friends? Um, yeah, it was good to be to be somewhere different. I suppose um, you get quite used to the training environment you're in. It was it was nice to get a to get a bit of sunshine. I think the weather hasn't been great here, but I suppose after towards the end of the week, I was looking forward to 15 degrees cloudy days here. But uh, yeah, it was good. It was um, it was a good a mental break in that it was somewhere different, but it was definitely really hard work. We got a got a lot of it, probably the toughest or one of the toughest weeks we've had the preseason so definitely made made the most of it but it was uh there was a good a good mix as well some people with their families out and um it made it a quite quite a nice uh nice place to be and i think we'll we'll take a lot from from that and also um getting a bit of heat exposure as well as it's it's possible obviously um playing Samoa and Biarritz and then into the World Cup that, that there might be a few warmer games than we're used to, so hopefully that'll uh, stand to us well. Looking ahead to Saturday and the end of the game, they've caused us a few problems in the past. Three weeks out from a World Cup, what do you want to be seeing from yourself in that game? Um, I think it's a, we can obviously, there's a temptation to think um, it's like a preparation game for a World Cup, which I suppose when you look at it that way it is, but um, it's at the end of the day. It's a test match against England. Um, it's a it's a cap. It's a chance to put on the Irish jersey. So I think there'll be a huge amount of um, pride people have in, in in wanting to put out a good performance. Um, so I think I mean the goal has to be to win, to put in a really good performance, and um, and then obviously on individual levels, people are trying to put in their best performances as well to try get in the in the squad for the World Cup, so there's a huge amount of things going on, but I think overall we'll be aiming for, aiming for a win. Yeah, it's a really big occasion playing England, uh, especially in the Viva. Um, we've had, uh, yeah, every time we play them, it's an incredibly tough physical game, uh, really strong in the mall, really strong in the scrum, so it's uh, a battle we're all really looking forward to. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Billy, what's it been like in training in terms of the competitiveness for places? Is obviously very high. Is it high intensity out there? Yeah, very, very high intensity. Um, no matter which teams are going against each other, you wouldn't know which was the starting team or which was uh, the non-playing group. The standards are extremely high. Lads are fighting for everything in training, and the competition's been brilliant. So uh, we've had a brilliant couple of weeks and a great, great week last week in Portugal. Uh, so yeah, the squad's in a, in a, in a good spot. And what would it mean to you to be able to make that World Cup squad? Yeah, no, it would be unbelievable. It would be, I, did, I haven't been to a World Cup before and to please God hopefully do that would be an incredible thing for me and my family and it would be something that I, I'd remember forever. Is it easy or, or difficult to manage maybe the mental side of things, but really wanting to get there and then trying to keep yourself fit and playing as well as possible on the pitch too? Yeah, I suppose it's just taking it day by day and not looking too far into the future. Um, we've had some really tough training weeks and then coming into games now, so you just have to take it day by day and use each day to, to grow as much as possible. And when you get your opportunity in those games, you take it with both hands and, and give it everything you've got and be the best version of yourself. Thanks. Yeah. And Finley, you've been a pretty consistent presence in the, the match day 23s now for, for the last couple of years. How much do you think you're your game has come on just in the consistency of being around the, the international environment? Yeah, I've been really fortunate, I suppose, over the last few years to be in and around the squads and I suppose to be working with world-class players, world-class coaches week in, week out, picking up nuggets of information every week and the culture we have in this group as well is that every day is a, a day to grow and a day to get better. So to be in this environment, it's I've been extremely lucky to be a part of it and guys like Josh and other boys that you can just learn from every day. It's been, you know, it's been awesome for me and it's, you know, certainly improved my game on and off the pitch. And in terms of specifics, like are there particular areas of your game that you think have come on over the last 12 to 24 months? Um, that's a good question. I'd say a bit of everything's come on. Um, trying to be the, you know, full round player in terms of being able to scrummage and then having smarts around the pitch and contact stuff, just trying to tidy up every part of the game. and. It's uh, a really good group we have. The culture's really good. Everyone's pushing each other to the limits and trying to you know, see how far everyone can go individually to get their, 
skill set to the best. So um, yeah, I've really, really benefited from from the culture. And just Josh, what have you seen from Finley over the last couple of years now that he's been a consistent part of the team? He's been brilliant. Um, he's a uh, he's a brilliant brilliant player. I think I he was saying he learns a bit for me, but I learned a huge amount from him in terms of like his uh, physical impacts, um, how he how he works in the malls, it's malls and, and line outs is pretty gets quite tactical in the way you lift and and uh, the, the positions you get into and then scrummaging, I don't have a clue what's I don't really have a clue what's going on there. He's a Josh the is expert very good in all that area. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah no he's done he's done brilliantly and he's definitely be one of the leaders now within within the front row. Um, and kind of drives drives the standards and we're very lucky to have him. He's a he's a brilliant player. Thanks, uh, last question for Brock. Yeah, uh, we just heard the news about Owen Farrell, his red card was overturned, so it's someone that we might see this weekend. Are you surprised at all with that news, guys? Um, I don't know, we're kind of we just straight off the pitch and, and just heard the news there. I mean, it's obviously uh, great for Owen, I suppose, um, for him being, being available for the for the game. So, um, yeah, it's not much more I can say to it than that. It's, yeah.